Hi guys, this is a video that I'm making about the famous batterizer that you probably heard of and uh, yeah this is what I, be use, I will be using for the video. If you do not know what a batterizer is, uh, it's a device that goes on top uh, of a normal battery and uh, it actually should prolong the the usable life of the battery because it's uh, it will raise the voltage of the battery so uh, you can power your devices for longer they accomplish this uh, because many devices have uh, cut off voltages so even if you have some energy left in the battery the voltage uh, drops too low and your uh, device will stop working and they want to tap on that energy and uh, power your device for longer times so uh, there are many videos uh, where uh, people explain why their claims aren't exactly uh, true but uh, I've uh, actually thought about it and found a place where this uh, even if it does not allow you to use uh, much more of the energy left in the battery and acts uh, just as a, a voltage raiser I can find a, a better word for it now uh, it will still be a really good thing for example uh, there are some remotes this actually copes decently well with low voltage batteries but I had one on a Hyundai TV uh, where in the first one or two months after replacing the batteries the remote would work uh, perfectly but uh, then it will start to, to work worse and you had to really point it to the TV press the button and wait a little bit and it would go on, go on like that for maybe another year so clearly the batteries were not depleted just the voltage got uh, a little bit too low for the circuits in that remote and uh, yeah it could it could not do its uh, its thing properly that's poor design of the remote in that case because everybody wants to design products uh, that less uh, longer on a set of batteries so clearly actually if the products would be good uh, design you would not need the batterizer but it seems some products are badly designed so yeah that's with the, the remote we will take it uh, out of the way okay so uh, the second uh, use that I will have for that uh, of course when uh, I can buy it uh, just two pieces or uh, one piece to test or something like that not, not like uh, I can buy them now minimum of eight or something like that because I don't have what to do with eight batterizers but uh, yes another use will be in this it's a weather station and it's a very good weather station but uh, it has a design fault <laughs> like the remote that I told you about before it uh, quickly um, fades away so when the voltage drops just a little bit the display like you can see now it's uh, pretty faded so only from some angles it's uh, still usable and I have to replace many batteries that uh, are actually still good and I can use them in other things but the annoying part of this is if I replace the battery it loses all its settings to counter this I made the modification in parallel with the bat batteries I made an input voltage input 3 volts and I'm using this when I replace batteries so I don't lose my settings because it's very annoying to put everything <laughs> back like it should be 
but uh, it still bothers me that uh, a new set of batteries lasts on this about let me think four months something like that uh, when it begins to to drop in contrast and then it could power on for another complete year if I would let it but with low contrast so clearly those batteries still have energy in them but the voltage is too low for this so it's bad design in this but the batterizer would actually allow me to to use those batteries uh, with good contrast and uh, it will be way way usable even if uh, the bat batterizer itself uses some of that uh, energy in the battery maybe I will use a set of batteries for one year with good results not like I'm using them now for 3-4 months and then the rest with bad results so yeah let me just uh, show you what I'm talking about and connect this to 3 volts so you can see the difference in contrast If you're wondering about this, it's because the stand got too far back and the angle was uh, something like this and it was quite annoying where I'm using it so I had to make it stand up a little bit better. So yeah, let me try and give you an accurate, yeah, I think in this is about what I see with my eyes when I look at it, so yeah. You can clearly see a difference in contrast. And of course this is now in parallel with the batteries, so part of the power goes actually into the batteries. But it's clearly a difference in contrast and these are pretty new batteries. I think they only have about, I don't know, two months on them, two months and a half. And they start to lose their, their voltage. So now I will plug this off and uh, actually no, sorry about that, it has to stay, to stay plugged in and powered on and I will stop the video to take out the batteries and I will uh, test the voltage on, on them, show you the voltage and put uh, probably this or I check uh, even this to see which of them have lower voltage. These are uh, not uh, batteries, are uh, echoes and this should clearly have lower voltage and you will see a big difference with them. So I'm thinking that probably the best place where you will be able to use the batterizer is in devices from your house that do not work on, uh, on uh, accumulators. So if you have something, a remote a weather station like this or anything that uh, does not work correctly on uh, accumulators uh, you will probably benefit from the batterizer because that means that uh, exactly that device that does not work well at uh, lower uh, voltages. And exactly what the batterizer, uh, batterizer does, it raises the voltage it's a voltage booster if I got the correct correct name so one moment until I take out the actually no let me do it on video if I fail at least you have something funny to look at okay those are, are the batteries, this is clearly still working. And let me try and put in the analogs. I've tried using the analogs inside this, but after two weeks or something like that, it, it was too dim to, to use the display anymore. So it clearly doesn't work like that so yeah powering off in a moment yeah you can see it's pretty dim so if 
a battery has this voltage about 1.2 volts it will benefit from the batterizer uh, and the display would go from this to something like this so for me this is about the difference before uh, between really annoying and uh, really usable so yeah now I will uh, stop the video for a moment because I don't have my multimeter on hand ok guys you can see how dim the display has uh, become it's still working but it's unusable like this ok all set up these are the batteries that I took out you can see almost 1.3 volts this will be pretty hard to do with one hand but I hope I will manage it almost 1.3 and you saw that the display wasn't uh, as bright as it could be uh, this is uh, an accumulator I don't think I will use it because it's only a single one I will test with the analogs so yeah I'm taking that out of the way and here are uh, some batteries uh, that are uh, new 1.35 this is new but it's kind of a low voltage one weirdly this is another new one so 1.4 almost 5 I will test with these two to show you the difference these are the ones that were already in and you saw how they worked so I won't put them back in and I will take the accus out ok I don't even know why I put the cover back on but yeah ok let me just test them quickly if I could actually make a good contact you can see the voltage is not very low but uh, it's enough for this not to work uh, correctly so this is exactly the case when you can clearly use the batterizer if it does not use too much power by itself and runs this too fast of course you cannot use it with uh, rechargeable batteries because uh, I think it, it will take them to a too low voltage when you actually know that they are dis discharged so it will probably damage them but I use them just to show you how this looks with very low voltage so now I will put this in I do not recommend mismatched batteries but this is what I have at the moment ok we are back and let me just cut the power, you should hear it no difference absolutely no difference, let me just put this back together so you can clearly see what I'm doing so yeah, for this a pretty pretty small voltage drop, it's enough to make it uh, not work right and for me when I first heard about the batterizer this was the kind of product uh, that they should be marketing for because these kinds of product uh, I think are in every house everybody has something similar uh, to this where they have to change the batteries although they are not fully depleted so guys, uh, thanks for watching, if you think uh, I'm wrong about this, please uh, say it in the comments, if I'm right, the same, like, dislike, subscribe and uh, see you in the next videos, bye.